Eska over to the Reaper now, which I think is a good change. The Reaper generally doing a little bit better in this third part. And while wow, Graviton Surge Azuma goes in, big aggressive move by South Korea. Will it pay off though? Looks like it is so far. Kills coming in, there's the Dragon Blade, the Nano Boost on Arhan, and they absolutely wreck USA. South Korea will push, man, just when these guys look out, they do something like that. Nobody expected Zuma to come from the top. Russia pushed through, being on fight, and they come out well in top. That'll be enough to secure pretty much this map for them. From Russia with love, Shadowburn slices his way through. Wait a minute. Just one little chance as Taimu drops on down, but he can't keep them at bay. The rest of Russia try and keep them pinned off the side. Shadowburn continues to strike as he gets oh. himself signy, but Taimu's just been left alone. He's picking them off left, right, and center, and now forced away from the point just at the marker. One HP is what Taimu had remaining after that one as well. Those subsequent headshots cutting Russia off at the knees. Right around the side there, and you can see Siegel, who's got his Dragon Blade ready and waiting to go. He's gonna drop down oh, and quickly God. deflects it back in Eisfeld's face. Thank you very much, that's an easy kill. And now that's a problem for Germany because they lose one of their key damage dealers. And now the Dragon Blade is off. He goes in, he finds Ruster. Can he get himself a second? Finds RTA, goes in looking for Internet Hulk. He takes him down and Skipjack, the final man standing, takes a shuriken to the forehead and down he goes. Himself, his first dead eye. He's allowed also Jimsy now to move up towards the right. You see, he peeked over that little fence there. A hook across the gap from a roadhog is deadly. Oh my god, he protects the hook on wow. the two. This man, I don't know what's going on in his head, but he was. Also, Obito is finding the right targets to pick out. Oh, that's a good graviton surge, but it's back, answered back and forth. Oh, look at that. Chamley gets himself boosted up in the air and gets himself a quick dead eye. That had to have been what boosted him up there. And Jay Hong taking the high ground on the side, more or less untouched. Miro jumping onto the point at half health, but he's getting support. And with Zuba and Aaron getting those kills already, things are looking pretty good for South Korea. Getting a bit of time on the point already. Miro has that primal rage, and he's going to jump right to spawn to try to make sure nobody gets oh back. My. What are you going to do when Miro's in your face already? Well, the answer is going to be not much. And South Korea going to take Temple of Anubis right here. 7.05 left on the clock. Normally play within a team, it's a completely different environment from solo queue compared to playing in an actual match. I'd say over on the US side, they got a little bit more lucky in terms of who got voted in because you have so many people who can flex to so many different roles, but you got people playing like their main role, which gives you such a huge advantage when you're playing these matches. Well, I feel like in an exhibition like this, like somebody like Seagull who can play like Genji, and then also you saw him play like Zarya. Yeah. Like he... Just dive right in. I need QD as well. He gets right to the back line. I see QD going to the back one for that early pickup. And Sweden has got pretty deep here. It's a case where even though they lose several early on, I need QD uncontested. Picks up the double and is looking for more. Yeah, he gets Zarya very low. He's going to be able to take out Mafu. That's three kills for I need QD. Tyler gets one at the beginning of the fight. Everybody else from Finland falls. That is as easy as a break as you can get on that first point. I thought on offense for USA, I thought Tailspin did a phenomenal job, so I mean, this is the dead eye. Oh, oh, they're in the air. They're falling out of the air like, like an invisible pinata. Where's the MLG 360? That is such a <laughs> sick play, but the, for Team USA, they get to that third point, and they're just not able to push through. Have to push in and get aggressive on this fashion, and you're going to see him actually tank mode. He gets actually in there, but it's going to be Tavika coming right out of that. Gets to, can he get a third? Able to take out Mafu. To big put it on a show here in our third map as Passion on Nepal, Sweden with a good first initial hold. I gotta say, if you want to win over a crowd, just bring out this guy. People love to see Bastion. Coming out here, this part was slow enough of a roll for Neptuno to have the one ready to go, and now he's gonna be walking through the Winter Wonderland. A couple of right clicks oh, there into a oh. but he's dodging the, the mechanics of this man. Now he's gonna take a breather and get that hell. <laughs> Neptuno's like, I'm just gonna try and sweep that one under the rug, but eventually Himsey's gonna come for. Bromas is back at last, and finally Himsey is allowed out of his little ice cave. And uh, well, Spain holds strong. Zeb's getting up pretty close on the sound barrier. So we'll see what they can do. There comes the Graviton Surge and Arhan pulls up the Dragon Blade. Sweden is in big trouble. Uh oh. And that is going to be a wipe. Oh, well, nice try. You gotta do it. Oh, there we go. Nice reflect at the end. Vic trying to pull Arhan off the ledge with him, but. Uh... Let's come out to Thailand. 
Here we go. All right, Nano boost onto Apuna. He's oh going to get oh, oh, The machine gun doing work, and then the flashbang for the kill on Nicole. That that was brutal. Goodbye, Doubt. Getting them shots off. They've not really got anybody to deal with him. There is no McCreeze. There's no one just jumping on him. Cups down. Oh, that's a completely separated Reinhardt, but that may well work out. No, it gets blocked off. The Blizzard catches everybody in, but Brazil suddenly piled up through. It's a brilliant combo coming out from Brazil. That's Sweden for it. Hook, line, and sinker. A moment of confidence there, perhaps overconfidence from Sweden. They're waving at Brazil. Now they might be waving goodbye to this point as Brazil sitting, standing tall, in fact, upon it. They managed to get the Wombo down. They managed to get a bunch of Sweden caught up in those ults, and now it's desperation for Sweden. Great uh, Blizzard coming out here from Victor. This might be just what they need. Chips coming in on the Tracer. They're already in stall mode, but that one ult. Blizzard is so strong. Very well known, but Australia be on the way right now. Hey, Katie leading the way. They might just try and blitz through here as everyone's stacked up. And no, they take the Maywall elevator and that gets them right through. Oh, fantastic play there by Australia. They stack up in the corner. Yuki builds a Maywall and they jump right over the top. It has definitely caught Chinese Taipei off guard. It's going to be Yuki opening up with one. It's going to be Lilgo, though, answering back. See, hey, Katie pushes through those, takes out Lazy Titan, and in an orthodox strategy, something catches Chinese Taipei completely off guard. A fantastic game plan there. That's going to be Time who actually launched out of the picture there. That's actually caused a problem because now he didn't get the DPS down. Shadowbird's going wild. Meanwhile, in the backside, oh! gets a quick deflection into Time who's face. Mafu just left alone. He's going to get DSU's. He's taken down. The Blizzard comes through. They will be picking up the round. And it's going to have around about 40 seconds left on the time back. Not a bad time indeed for Russia. 37 seconds, the final time. Moment. The next round starts coming in, pulls and four, one stuck against the wall as Taibu gets the dead eye clean up. Three kills for Taibu and gonna look for a little bit more. Oh, fantastic play there from Finland. They set up the Graviton Surge up top. They bring a lot of action from the left hand side. Second window after they see the road hook through the hook out where we really can't do anything about it. The gravity oh, has been used out at the pop oh. that's gonna hurt out oh, oh, tailspin. The damage is real, at least four kills over that one. Germany threw themselves at it, knew knowing that they'd have to desperately stop that payload from moving, but it's just been an easy ride here. Oh there. tank time. Alright. Well, Aaron gets onto the high ground. He rocket jumps up there right away for a bit more of a defensive position. Gets one as South Korea tries to uh, regroup back on the point again. Hashtag thanks. And that is going to be it as uh, South Korea is going to absolutely rock Eichenwald here. Uh, a cool 424 left on the clock as they finish off their offensive round. And I mean, you never know with uh, South Korea if you're going to run into a Bastion as well. So. Yeah, might as well take a look at what they've got and then change things. IDD QD running away from Eska there on that main. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Aron actually. Doesn't matter. IDD QD takes him out. Oh, he gets the headshot in the end as he dies. Well, that's a good start for IDD QD. Meanwhile, though, Tavik firing away at Miro on that Reinhardt now. I don't even know if he knows he's behind him at the moment. Either way, a decent start for Sweet. Hard for any combos to come out. Eska backs away, he gets a little bit low. Meanwhile, there's a nano boost onto Arhat. Gonna look for the kill. Oh, the flashbang flash bang. missed. Yeah, he threw it a bit too early. Arhat gets three, looking for another one. Gets four, gets five. Zumba looking for one himself. Eska picks it up to finish. It's on the shadow burn, and there it is. You saw that play mount to happen. It's gonna be shadow burn though. Stuck inside the graviton, dashes straight through. He's able to get two, trying to hunt down one more. Adam just trying to stay alive. Not going to be enough. Shadow burn dives through another one. Has gods up top. Shadow burn just absolutely going crazy here, diving through USA, trying to secure the group for Russia. And that was beautiful from shadow burn. What a way to end this. All right, I guess that's it, man. It's a victory left for South Korea. Arhan pulls out the Dragon Blade. There goes Russia. Overtime activated. The closest they've gotten all series. But this is it. South Korea will win the Overwatch World Cup without dropping a single map. Wow, Bella. Wow. That is truly an amazing feat. Coming in, Korea. We saw them at APAC. We saw Lunatic High falling to Rome, falling to the West. We wondered how fast the Koreans would arrive at Overwatch. And they are here.